All right, I'm back with my 24 hours impression of the Pixel Watch. Gadgeteer. What's up, Gadgeteers? My name is Hector, and this is Gadget Beard. And on this channel, I unbox and review everyday tech, gadgets, and accessories for you. That was dope. And on today's video, I'm going to give you my 24 hours impressions of the Pixel Watch, my thoughts, my opinions, and my experience with the watch itself uh right off the back <laughs> i like the watch i ain't gonna lie i like the watch never been a a smartphone watch type of guy uh but what they did with the pixel watch this year and uh wear os i think it's wear os 3.5 if i'm not mistaken because it's a little different than my tick watch and i like this wear os version of the interface more than the one on my tech watch uh, but the watch itself is premium it's so you have an apple watch right so if you have an apple watch it's the most premium watch you can get uh, on the google side probably the pixel side uh, this is the watch to get it's absolutely it mimics the apple watch it, it's just like around Apple Watch basically the crown the smoothness the haptic feedback that this watch has is crazy crazy good the speakers good uh, the only thing that's subpar is the battery life I didn't notice but it did last me 24 hours um, I took it off the charger at 9 a.m. and it lasted to 9 a.m. the following morning when I popped it to uh, charge I did have about 12 percent battery left and I wanted to see how much, how fast it'll charge back to 100%. And it took about an hour. Uh, I did do a YouTube short. You can go ahead and watch that video where I kind of show little clips of the watch charging in time. So I did, it took about a, about an hour for it to charge. Uh, didn't really track my sleep patterns or, or, or anything like that because uh, I thought it, it automatically did it. But I guess you have to go down on the tiles and select sleep mode and then they'll go ahead and track your sleep mode so i probably lost a lot of battery life during the night because i heard when you go to sleep mode it kills most of the functionalities of the watch and it just dedicates it to it tracking your sleep patterns but other than that the watch has been great uh the bands itself and um it's just absolutely soft you almost notice like the watch is not there that's how comfortable these watch bands are it just feels so good in hand uh on the wrist i mean not in hand uh it almost feels like you're not even wearing the watch uh one thing that i would like to see in a, and i hear a lot of people saying it if if you wish it was a little bigger i do wish it was a little bit bigger than at the same time i don't because if it's a little bit bigger i'm gonna feel it more on my wrist right now i don't feel anything on my wrist uh it's the most comfortable smartwatch I've worn. It absolutely feels amazing on the wrist. It's almost like I said, it's not like if it's not there, the haptic feedback on it's super great. Uh, but if they do a little bit bigger one, uh, you know, I might have to get it because the watch is so dope. Um, another thing, the watch itself, the Wear OS itself does have some bugs. I, I did do a video on that as well, a YouTube short showing one of the bugs that I found. Uh, so when you press the crown in, it takes you to your app drawer. So when you press it again, it's supposed to take you back to your home screen, which is your watch face. Uh, right now, currently, it takes me to the app drawer. But when I go ahead and press it again, it tr it tries to take me back to the watch face, but then it goes right back to the app drawer. Uh, so that's the only bug that I found here and there. Uh, the OS, uh, the fluidity of the OS is freaking good, dude. I, I, dude, I I'm impressed by the watch. I am really impressed, even with the little shortcomings it has, like battery life and stuff like that, and being a little small. But uh, other than that, the watch feels good. The bezels that everybody, you see, you just heard it. Uh, the bezels that everybody's talking about, the bezels are not bad at all. Um, you can't really tell because the glass kind of tapers off to the side. Uh, so, and then the watch faces are all black and stuff so that it just goes away you, you can't really tell the bezel size or anything like that but 
so far my experience has been great besides those little issues I've had with the bug. Uh, other than that, I think I'm gonna wear this every day. Uh, I absolutely like it. Like I said, it's almost like if it's not on my wrist, the haptics are great. Battery life is subpar, but um, I, th I don't think I'm gonna do the sleep tracking. So if if you don't, if you're not too concerned about your sleep patterns, then you shouldn't have no issue because it's gonna last all day, easily all day. I do have the LTE variant though, but I don't have it connected, so I can give you battery life with LTE. Uh, I'll try to connect it and see how uh, if it gets even worse or something like that. But for sure, for sure, if you're not worried about tracking your sleep pattern, this thing's gonna last you all day. So when you go to sleep, charge it or whatever. And I think uh, I saw it somewhere on tw on Twitter. Uh, when you take a shower, pop it, let it charge. Usually, a shower should take you about what 20, 30 minutes. You go in there. By the time you're all done showering, drying, doing your hair, doing everything. It should be an hour so you should be fully charged uh so with that being said if you have any questions in regarding the pixel watch let me know down in the comment section below please like share and subscribe and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one peace